My name is Nick. I am an addict. I have the big book here, and it seems the step five wishes to be read. Um, this is for those of you taking step five, those of you who just want to learn about the program, or those of you listening to somebody step five. Um, step five, we admitted God. We admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. The fifth step is the key to freedom. It allows us to live clean in the present. Sharing the exact nature of our wrongs sets us free to live. After taking a thorough step forward, we deal with the contents of our inventory. We are told that if we keep these defects inside us, they will lead us back to using. <clears throat> Holding on to our past will eventually sicken us and keep us from taking part in our new way of life. We are not honest when we take a fifth step. We will have the same negative re results that dishonesty brought us in the past. Step five suggests that we admit to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. We looked at our wrongs, examined our behavior patterns, and started to see the deeper aspects of our disease. Now we sit with another person and share our inventory out loud. Our higher power will be with us during our fifth step. We will receive help and be free to face ourselves and another human being. It seems unnecessary to admit the exact nature of our wrongs to our higher power. God already knows that stuff. We rationalize it. Although he already knows, the admission must come from our own lips to be truly effective. Step 5 is not simply a reading of Step 4. For years, we avoided seeing ourselves as we really were. We were ashamed of ourselves and felt isolated from the rest of the world. Now that we have the shameful part of our past trapped, we can sweep it out of our lives if we face and admit it. It would be tragic to write it all down and then shove it in a drawer. These defects grow in the dark and die in the light of exposure. Before coming to NA, we felt that no one could understand the things that we had done. We feared that if we ever revealed ourselves as we were, we would surely be rejected. Most addicts are uncomfortable about this. We recognize that <clears throat> we must we must we have been unrealistic in feeling this way. Our fellow members do understand us. We must carefully choose the person who is to hear our fifth step. We must make sure that they know what we are doing and why we are doing it. Although there is no hard rule about the person of our choice, it is important that we trust the person. Only complete confidence in the person's integrity and discretion can make us willing to be thorough in the step. Some of us feel some of us take our fifth step with a total stranger, although some of us feel more comfortable choosing a member of NA. We know that another addict would be less likely to judge us with malice or misunderstanding. Once we make a choice and are actually alone with that person, we proceed with their encouragement. We want to be <clears throat> definite, honest, and thorough, realizing that this is a life and death matter. Some of us tried to hide part of our past in an attempt to find an easier way of dealing with our inner feelings. We may think that we have done enough by writing about our past. We cannot afford this mistake. This step will expose our motives and our actions. We cannot expect these things to reveal themselves. Our embarrassment is eventually overcome and we can avoid future guilt. We do not procrastinate. We must be exact. We want to tell the simple truth, cut and dried, as quickly as possible. There is always a danger that we will exaggerate our wrongs. It is equally dangerous to minimize or rationalize our part in past situations. After all, we still want to sound good. Addicts tend to live secret lives. For many years we covered low self-esteem by hiding behind phony images that we hoped would fool people. Unfortunately, we fooled ourselves more than anyone. Although we often appeared attractive and confident on the outside, we were really hiding a shaky and secure person on the inside. <clears throat> the masks have to go. We share our inventory as it is written, skipping nothing. We continue to approach this step with honesty and thoroughness until we finish. It is a great relief to get rid of all our secrets and to share the burden of our past. Usually, as we share this step, the listener will share some of his or her story too. 
We find that we are not unique. We see by the acceptance of our confidant that we can be accepted just the way we are. We may never be able to remember all of our past mistakes. We do, however, give it our best and most complete effort. We begin to experience real personal feelings of a spiritual nature. Where once we had spiritual theories, we now begin to awaken to spiritual reality. This initial examination of ourselves usually reveals some behavior patterns that we don't particularly like. However, facing these patterns and bringing them out in the open makes it possible for us to deal with them constructively. We cannot make these changes alone. We will need the help of God as we understand Him and the Fellowship of Narcotics Anonymous. Good luck to you. And as they say, Godspeed. Um, thanks for bearing with me while I'm reading at quarter to four in the morning. Uh, like I said, that's for, you know, those of you getting ready to do the step or brushing up for if someone's going to go over the step with you or it's just for whatever. Even those of you who aren't in the program, if you just want to uh, see what it's about, there you go. There's also all kinds of stuff you can read about on the channel or um, look up different sites like in the rooms or of course go to a meeting that would be your best bet good luck